All right, KMR, and we are talking the brap. So I think I've covered it before, but I always find it uh, good to recover topics and ideas as new questions arise, and often I will find new things to talk about. So lapping is always something that's talked about online, um, and then also surface hardening. Obviously, side plates were surface hardened from the factory using nitriding, so as we lap them, it does take away some of that surface hardening. Now, I don't think it's as crucial as some of the internet does, based on my experience, but we have a lot of options these days. Some of the issues that we're running into in the rotary world are parts are no longer available. Um, when you get into some of the different side plates, side housings, rotors, different components, simply not available from the factory new anymore. So it becomes more and more viable to find ways to save components that are either hard to replace or maybe special to a motor. In this case, um, we just got one housing from a customer. Um, this particular housing had excessive corrosion on the face, it had lost a water, uh, water seal at some point, um, and had excessive corrosion in the water seal areas, um, potentially related to each other. So a lot of surface problem, water seal problem, and aggressive wear. Not so easy to replace. It's actually a filled port, so being used in a turbocharged peripheral port application. And you can see that it is dowel pinned, kind of the traditional strengthening. I like studying a little more, but dowel pinning has been around for a long time and might even show um, that this has been a reliable engine for a long time. In which case, you're not necessarily trying to start fresh all the time. And at this point, it's not even an available part. So we were able to bring it in, uh, lap it down, resurface it. Um, and because we knew that this is a high performance motor, it's going to be getting hard abuse and the customer wanted to bring that surface hardening back. We went with a WPC treatment, which is a friction reduction and surface hardening technique that we offer. Um, and so that way, this particular component has been resurfaced, rehardened, and is back to a OEM type standard where it can go back into a motor, be reliable, and take away a lot of the concerns that people have when it comes to resurfacing or lapping and nitriding and those types of things. Now, in my personal experience, again, I don't really see side housings uh, fail due to wear, um, due to lapping. It's usually other components fail first. Um, but there is a reality to... Uh, you know, a desire to resurface harden. And I think the WPC treatment is my preferred technique versus nitriding, um, which is a little bit more difficult um, to do um, and is really more of a, a hardening and rust preventative measure. We're not so concerned about preventing rust on this. It's going right back into a race motor. But adding that uh, friction reduction to the surface hardening, I think, is nice. So if anybody has questions, concerns, I think lapping um, becomes more and more important as components become less and less available. And we try to rebuild classic racing motors or unique motors. Um, and that's one of the reasons that we continue to offer it, KMR, Mazda Trix. You don't need it in every motor. You don't need it in every application. But when you need it, it can be really important. So I think that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comment below, and we have a bunch of fun videos coming up. This is just a little technical talk when we talk about lapping and WPC treatment. I gotta go back to work.